Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde, Jean-Guy Bourguignon and EFA 22 on this Sunday, April 19th. Are we comfortable yet? All right, look at me, Sunday afternoon, 4.40ish, cup of joe, relax. Are we comfortable yet? Are we liking this groove? Are we into our routine? Are we, like, this is good, right? Time with family, time with those you love and respect, and there's all these other things that are happening. <laughs> and people, you hear all these, uh, you get more of this going on right now, more of that going on. And I don't want to get into the, the, the I'm just trying to stay positive all the time and, and a balanced message, right? But are we comfortable yet? And, and, and I, I tell my daughter all the time, right, that nothing is free. Everything comes at a cost. I don't care where you live on this earth, you, you, it costs you something. It costs you to breathe, to be somewhere on this earth, right? Some way, somehow, there's a, tie, a fee attached to something, correct? And that's what I tell my daughter. And, and all this that's going on, all these checks going out, all this money going out, all this spending going out, all this stuff of the economy, this and that going on, we're all going to pay for this. <laughs> we're all going to pay for this, right? And that's what I tell my daughter. And, and, and I laugh because it's not it's like, uh, what, uh, what choice do we have? Right, the controlism. When I look at controlisms, and, and it, my wife always tells me it's not a word. <laughs> well, I call it controlisms, right? When I looked at the synchronization, the synchronization that has just transpired globally, intergalactically, the aliens did it looking down, they're going, Man, did you see that? Damn, look at that. We are so synchronized on this planet right now. I don't even think we did that in World War. I don't even think we did it in 9-11. We have never been this synchronized. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have never been this synchronized on Earth. And then they're going to say, well, it's because we see two months in advance or one month in advance. We have a window. And it's beyond that. It's beyond that. You know, have we figured out how they feed 1.4 billion people in a communist regime? Right, and you don't want to go to the bats here, right? I'm gonna go to the bats, and then I, I look at the communist regime 1.4 billion people. China is not a poor country, China is not a poor country, they're, 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 they're not poor, but they have a lot of poor people in China, right? What is it, hundreds of millions, several hundreds of millions that are live under the poverty line? So, how do you feed? How do you feed 1.4 billion people? And we, North Americans, Europeans, we eat meat also, right? We eat animals also. Um, there were, we're, not, we're not innocent to that, but we have measured procedures. We have uh, governing bodies on food safety and education and all that stuff. And, and I say this because a lot of the pandemics are caused by these kind of situations, right? It has to do with animals, that kind of stuff. And, but the optimist in me, when I look at control and synchronization that I see right now going on, when I look at control, we have a lot of bats in Canada. Like I know there's bats I'm, in the United States. I know there's a lot of bats there too, uh, probably in Europe. <laughs> I know my, where I live in, I live in the country setting here and there's tons of bats in the summer. I can see them flying around. So thank goodness we're gonna have lots of meat, right? If it comes down to this, if it comes down to this, we're gonna have lots of meat. So that's the optimist in me. But when I look at control and I look at controlisms, you know, like if I look at Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler was pro-social, he was pro-union, he was for the people, right? That, that, that was Adolf Hitler, I'm telling you, look it up, right? But he was also, he had a control thing, he had something to do with control. And if you look at uh, the president of Venezuela right now, right, uh, again, for the people party, right? And he basically took down a uh, country that's oil rich now and people, their dollars worth nothing, and they got to eat animals inside the zoo for the people. Right, and I look at for the people. I, I look at, I look at this control. Like right now, just in Canada, was it uh, two years ago? Uh, uh, the liberal government that they passed that law where the banks have to give your, they they have to give their banking detail of all the clients. I think they start with five hundred thousand clients. at you and I, um, basic all their banking detail, all their transaction, everything without your knowledge, and you don't need to know because you're not going to know. It's not part of the contract, and the banks have no choice. It's also part of the contract. They have to give it, right? And that's going to expand. They want to know everything about everyone, right? So, and then this just just passed there, like the, uh, the pandemic bill they tried to pass where they wanted to control all taxes and fees for like two years. Remember, minority government, they want to control all taxes and fees without the say of parliament, right? Without the democratic process that we've had for like, what, 150 years? And then this morning I was reading the paper and now they're contemplating, the liberal government is contemplating controlling what you say and what you not say about the COVID-19. Didn't China try to do that also? Control what you say, what you not say about COVID-19. Not only you, all, all professionals, government, medical professionals, don't say no word, right? Don't say a word. Are we comfortable with that yet? Is, is, is that, is, do you like that? You know, when I look at um, uh, 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 tyranny, I, I wrote it down here and it, it says, it's an arbitrary use of power or control 
All right? When I talk about balance, when I talk about balance, and I talk about having balance and, and life and, and governmental balance, etc., like control, you know, and, and we, we, I believe in, I believe in democratic society. I believe in rules and regulations. I've told you that, but I also believe in balance. You know, when I look at a, at a device like this, right? I look at this device. I look at, at how much information has been passed through that life changing of cannabinoid therapy. Cannabinoid therapy helps for veterans, uh, people sharing information in this world, right? All because we were allowed, we were allowed to share information and then government kind of lost control of the cannabinoid space and then people start treating their medical conditions as cannabinoid and now they just turned it around and control the cannabinoids through a taxation system, okay? You, you get your taxes on it, et cetera, et cetera, you made it law and uh, people can buy their, their, their cannabis now and their edibles and everything, right? <laughs> just like gambling, you can't gamble. If we control gambling, you can gamble. We want to control the money. That's fine. Give us a democratic society. Imagine if we spent money wisely. Imagine the government, imagine all the programs I come from the correctional field I told you about. I come from a system where we used to have programs like brick and stone, carpentry, sheet metal. It, the, the inmates would leave the facilities after two years of hours accumulated, like an apprenticeship program, and they would get jobs. And, 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 and guess what? Large percentage, a very large percentage of those inmates never went back to jail. The recidivism was, imagine that. We gave them tools, right? Because remember, I talked about foundation, upbringing, surrounding a foundation. A lot of people did not have an upbringing, surrounding a foundation. They didn't not have uh, all, all the all the basic necessities of a good life, right? So they fall into a system, the different systems that I talked about in previous uh, Equality for All episodes, EFA. So when I look at that and I look at those programs, I believe in those programs, but I'm also conservative financially, all right? Imagine if we spent our money wisely. Imagine if we had that money for our real programs and real centers and helping people, not 25 departments for, for, for the same thing, right? But imagine that money was spent wisely. Could you imagine that? We don't need the communist regimes. We don't need control socialist regimes to tell you what to do and how to spend your money. If we had a good democratic society managing and, and producing our money wisely, right? So when I look at this, like this is a capitalist play about money. This is what's everything's going on. It's about the money on top. No, no, this is not a Trump move. This is not a capitalist move. This is control and socialism, like to me, right? This is a that this is that kind of move here. And all these costs, all these checks going out. Remember, like all those systems, all those systems, either the Venezuela system, the the uh, the Argentinian systems, or or or, or the uh, the Greece systems. A lot of these systems that ended up failing at one point or collapsing, or all this stuff and going on. All these give 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 systems, and then eventually it crumbles, right? It crumbles, it falls, right? And then you end up having to feed 1.4 billion people with bats. Right? Jean-Guy Bourguignon, EFA 22, wishing each and every one of you a very productive, think about it, listen to understand moment this week. Thank you. Merci.